Hello everybody and welcome to your next uh, C++ Lego 5 platformer made easy tutorial. So uh, I, I believe in last tutorial I had a comma over here and I, I had content in there. Uh, that's a problem. Um, it, it creates a problem in, in C++ so just make a new vector, um, a two dimensional vector that takes in strings. Now another thing with the farm manager class, I I'm sorry if I'm repeating something that I repeated last tutorial because I made, I made last tutorial like much earlier, so I don't, I don't even really remember what I said last tutorial. Uh, but anyways, um, uh, these should be uh, ampersand right here, uh, in the farm manager dot h, and don't forget to change that in farm manager dot cpp as well. So if we go to the cpp file. Uh, make sure that there is an ampersand there. I think there is already one. So the ampersands there. Okay. Uh, so um, if we don't have the ampersands, then uh, we're not taking a reference to the actual the attributes and stuff. We're just changing it within this uh, within this function, and then outside the function, it won't actually change. So, anyways, uh, once we've loaded in all the files, uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to make uh, we want to make uh, two for loops. So we have a nested for loop now, and it's going to go to attributes i dot size. Okay, so before we even continue, let's go to splash screen dot h and um, we're going to add in two uh, vectors. So vector for uh, a Lego bitmap. And uh, that will be our images. And we need another one for our fade animations. And we'll have, uh, we'll name that fade. Okay, so I make sure you have the pointer there. So it needs to be a pointer to it. Uh, so if we go to splash screen dot h, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that if attributes i j is equal to image, so if the attribute was equal to image, then uh, we have to do something with it. So just to make things clear, whenever we have something that says load equals, that is our attribute. So it lets us know what attribute we're loading in, and then whatever is below that, that is the content. So this lets us know what we're loading in, and this is, lets us know that um, this is, is give us a content that we actually need to use in our program. So if we continue, so if the attribute is equal to image, and we're gonna say images dot uh, pushback, and we're gonna say uh, al load bitmap, and we're gonna load contents i j dot c underscore string. Okay, and once we do that, we're gonna say fade dot. Uh, uh, I'm not sure why. Let me check to see if I named that correctly in the header file. Yeah, that should be the name of it, fade. Oh, so I think. It says it's undefined, so fade. Uh, we need to, I'm not sure fade animations in any of these classes, but let's include fade animation. Or uh, maybe that would change things. And we're gonna do fade, yeah, so fade dot pushback. So we're gonna put new fade animation. Okay, and uh, after that we're gonna say fade, uh, fade dot size minus one so the fade animation that we just uh, got we're gonna say a pointer to load content and the image that we're gonna put in there is gonna be the images of fade dot size minus one and for the text is null and for the position what we should do is we'll do float position uh, takes two things in and we'll set them both to zero okay so the position is position, okay? And uh, we're also gonna set uh, the uh, the active, so set is active. We're gonna set that equal to true for all of them, 
okay so we got we have our our thing set up so now in the update method what we're gonna do is f for now we're just gonna say fade zero uh, update we're just gonna test things out and we're gonna put our input manager in there and we can comment this out and we're gonna put fade zero draw now I have changed something in the draw command uh, if we go to file manager CPP I mean no fade animation sorry uh, where is it fade animation dot CPP I'm um, in the draw command I just took it out and I just said animation draw so we're gonna draw what we have in the animation um, draw and what I've added in the draw is to the set in, set in the blender now I haven't taught this in the Lego 5 uh, in the Lego 5 tutorial series so this is new to you so I don't really expect you to understand it uh, but basically it's changing it from pre multiplied alpha to non pre multiplied alpha and I don't even know it a hundred percent thoroughly so I don't want to explain something that I don't uh, know thoroughly a hundred percent so I'm not you know, I'm not even gonna try because I might confuse you if you want to know you can search it up on the internet but uh, this is what you need to put in so if you want to pause or put it in then you can and uh, everything should remain the same in our program uh, so if we go to um, if we try to draw this So once we draw it, it, it starts to fade out as we would like to do, and then it fades back in, and so on and so forth. Uh, so it does; it gives us the desired effect uh, that we want. So what we're gonna do with the splash screen uh, now is we're going to add in another variable. So we need to go to splash screen dot h and another private variable called um, image number. And by default, image number is going to be set to zero. Uh, so in here we can set image number equal to zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say uh, update the image number. So we're gonna say that if fade image number uh, get alpha is equal um to zero okay so if you don't see the image anymore then we're gonna increase image number by one okay so now we're gonna uh, have another if statement we're gonna say that if fade and we're gonna say if image number is greater than or equal to uh, the fade dot size minus one or and we can just copy this Uh, then we we use our screen manager to transition. Okay, so if it's on the last image, if it's on the last image, or we press the enter key, then we will switch to the next screen. Okay, so uh, and what we need to do is that we need to say draw image number. So, so there's, there's one other thing that we need to do. Well, I don't even know if we did it before. I'm just gonna go and check to see if we did it. And we did so uh, make sure that it doesn't update while we're transitioning. So let's run this and hopefully we get the desired result that we want. So this fades out and I know you can you can increase the fade speed if you like. Shows the next image fades out, shows the third image and everything fades out and then it zooms back in with the next screen okay so we got the desired effect uh, so that is entirely it for the splash screen so I'm gonna end the tutorial um, or actually um, to I uh, actually yeah I'll just end the tutorial here and then we will continue uh, with the rest of the stuff in the next tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and bye